Hello YouTube, it's William Collins with uh, WC Knives. There's been a lot of talk on uh, YouTube about knife safety and I just I wanted to uh, to touch on that for a moment. I am a firm believer in safety uh, whether it be driving anything that you do if you step outside the house and go down the steps to your car you need to do it safely. <laughs> now to touch on knife safety, uh, there's been a lot of talk about never carve toward yourself, never do this, never do that. Um, well, I think the best way that I can sum this up is to tell everyone be aware of where this knife blade is going to end up when it slips, because it will slip. It's just a matter of when. If you put enough pressure on it, it's going to go somewhere. It's going to go through the wood. It's going to go into whatever is behind it, below it, above it, wherever that knife is pointing. Now, with that said, you're going to see a lot of things on YouTube where people are carving toward themselves, and they're doing it safely. Um, for instance, a draw knife. A draw knife is carving toward yourself. Um, when you saw me carve the, uh, the needle uh, or the spoon, you saw me carving toward myself, but I was doing it safely. There is a way to do it. And I think the best way, instead of just saying never carve toward yourself, why don't we teach the safe way of doing it? Okay? And that's what I'm going to do now, is I'm going to show you a safe way of carving toward yourself. So, I'm going to use my spoon here, and I'm going to show you a safe way and is this the only way? No, but it is the safe way. And I'm gonna carve toward myself, but I'm gonna do it safely. Now, what I'm doing is I've got the spoon rested against my belly, and all I'm doing is letting the knife blade cut. I am not putting any undue pressure on it, okay? Now, if this blade was to slip, then I'm gonna catch it with my arm right here against my stomach and it's not going to go into me it's going to stop okay so there is a safe way of carving toward yourself the other way is if you're carving say you're you're cutting a notch or you're you're you're, you're carving out a divot then and then you're carving toward yourself but there's a way of doing it safely your thumb is is over to the side of the of the of the wood okay so when that knife blade slips it's going to go past your thumb it's not going to hit your thumb now i have a scar right here well i cut that thumb to a bone uh, when i was in the air force i was doing some soap tube samples uh with the oil and though all your crew chiefs out there you know what i'm talking about so when i pull the the when i cut the tubes off for a, because they were too long then I, I cut and that knife blade went right through the tube and into my thumb and the bad thing about it is I was doing a QA evaluation at the time and I failed because of safety <laughs> so anyway so make sure that that thumb is is to the side of whatever you're cutting so when that knife blade goes through what you're cutting it goes past your thumb not into your thumb okay now if you're having to put pressure on something and you're trying to gouge it out always never put it on your never ever unless you have a log that is not <laughs> gonna, this knife blade is not going to go through. Now if you have a log in your lap and you want to do it that way, so when that blade goes through this wood, because it will go through it, it hits this log. It doesn't hit your leg. Because folks, this is called the triangle of death for a reason. And I can't stress this enough. There is arteries inside your legs that once you cut those arteries you will not make it out. 
you, you, you won't get up from where you're at. You'll bleed out in just a matter of minutes. Okay? So never ever take a chance of cutting inside that angle with a knife that doesn't have a backstop. Uh, a backstop something other than you. Okay? Now that is not a joking matter. That that's it. I'm serious about this. Um, because it's a serious matter. So instead of just saying never ever, um, I wanted to show some ways of doing it uh, that that was a safe way of doing it. So um, I hope I hope uh, you take this for what it's worth. Um, I'm sure there's going to be others that disagree because they say there's other ways of doing it. To me, it's easier. Uh, and if you use other ways, it's harder. To me, that's unsafe. Uh, just because you're, you, you don't want to do it because you think carving toward yourself is a bad thing. Um, but that's what this country was founded on, a different opinion. <laughs> we didn't agree with uh, our king, so we created the United States. Uh, so different opinions are good. And I hope that, uh, that we can continue having a difference of opinion and, and not turn into a, a fight over it. But uh, anyway, I hope it was beneficial to you. I hope you learned something. And um, I'm, I'm sure I, I aggravated some other people. But hey, it's my opinion. After 40 years of using a knife, I hope I learned something. Uh, also on uh, knife safety, I, I think that the the key to all knife safety is practice, 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 practice. Um, and I said in the video not too long ago, it's not a matter of carving a spoon. It's a matter of learning how to use a knife. Um, and, and I meant that. And you don't have to carve a spoon. Go out and whittle on a stick. Make a, sti a tent peg. Uh, like you saw in another video of mine, using the offhand, making a tent peg. Um, whittle a toothpick. I don't care what it is. Just go out and use a knife. Um, I've, I've seen videos of so-called um, bushcraft people, if you will. And it looks like the, the, the knife is, is, is an, a, a, a foreign object to them. <laughs> it just doesn't look natural in their hand. And to me, that's because they just hadn't used a knife enough. Um, it, it, it's got to be second nature to you. It, it's got to be an extension. It's got to be a finger. It, it, it needs to be part of you. And the only way for that to happen is to actually get out and use it. Videos, it's all well and good. It'll teach you technique. But muscle memory and actual using a knife is, is what's going to teach you how to use a knife. So anyway, um, just wanted to throw that in there. This is William with uh, WC Knives. Um, get out there. Go camping. Just get out in the backyard, whittle on a stick. Take plenty of band-aids, because if you use a knife long enough, you're gonna cut yourself. That's just the way it is. Just take some way of stopping the bleeding. <laughs> okay? <laughs> and make sure if you're gonna do something dangerous that you're within a, a very short distance of medical treatment. So, anyway, take plenty of band-aids and lots of knives. We'll see you on the next one.